All right. Uh, oh no! Uh, cocked it up. Yep. Back out. That's better. Um, just cheeky this one. I don't know. Probably get moved on here. But I'm out after work. Just a lightweight overnight camp. It's not local, but it's not far away. Got a uh, small pack on tonight. 48 litre Kestrel. And I'm gonna go just head out, aren't I? And hopefully, I won't get disturbed. It's been hell on, isn't it? With all the um, clamping down. And no wonder, right? Look at this, man. This is just absolutely disgusting what people do. It's rubbish. Like, oh, tissues. You kind of pick tissues up, man. Ugh, God. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's getting hard while camping now. Not really meant to do it here. The sign's here telling me not to do it, so if I get moved on, I've got no argument. Can't really say anything. We'll see what happens though. The place I'm going is pretty stealthy and out of the way. I just hope it don't come back to a damaged car again. Had damage on it last week. We think it might have been off the sheep. Because it looks like sheep head height and the, the horns, so they've all been pushing past the car and they've dented the door, but it couldn't have been, couldn't have been somebody doing it because the other lad's car wasn't damaged at all and it was just behind us. And mine was like a bit nearer the road. Oh well, good job it's not a new one, eh? Right, we'll see what happens here. A little bit of a walk. So I've just come off the path into the trees of Terra. Down there. Past the pylons of power. And now we're going into the gloomy forest of death. Up that hill. Oh, it's, right. it's kind of steep up there, like. Oh, not the phone. The phone's ringing. That track. That's, I think that's a bike trail, that. I should come here on my bike. There's a lot of trails here, like. Bit of a uh, bit of foraging, bit of wood sorrel. Nice. It tastes like uh, so you know when you peel an apple, the apple peel. Nice for salads. Don't get it where dogs might get on it though. There's loads. Right, right, we'll push on up there. Looks like make it a nice sunset. Fingers crossed. How do you cross your fingers? Well, ah, I've come up the ravine of death. Now was it the tree line before? Right down the bottom of the trees are. Now look, I'm right up high above the trees. Wind's picking up a little bit. It's gonna be a good test this. Should we let that water brought? If I know I've just gotta keep plodding on that way. What a shame there's no flat bits here. Because this bridge's not big enough. It slopes right off there. Just go rolling down there. And you wouldn't stop until you hit the bottom. Oof. Bumpity bump. All the way down. I suppose the heather might cushion your fall. Come here about July. Thousands of bilberries. Thousands of them. Look, they're just coming in at the bud now. They've got like a lovely dark purple colour. They're not very, yeah. They're not very tasty, they're just nice to eat, refreshing, pop in your mouth. And there's some gnarly old crags, these. I thought I heard voices, but I'm just going crazy. I see you in the distance. I trope, cheviot. All them other surrounding hills. Yeah, I hope we get a nice sunset if that big black cloud vanishes. Forecast to be dry from now. 
had a bit of rain earlier in the week and today but it's meant to be dry now overnight and then tomorrow there's a few showers here tomorrow but I won't be here tomorrow I'll be gone early in the morning from here skitsy like it's got us all skitsy the way things are going it's not going to stop us it's going to be a bit more stealthy definitely all about the views here I'm really perched high here like <laughs> just been over there oh this getting a bit of vertigo here like if I stand on the edge of there hopefully get a nice sunset there's a few clouds so it should be like pick it out you know pick the clouds go red I like it when it does that But yeah, nice and still, calm night. Nobody about, never seen anybody over here. <laughs> Somebody at the back of us is on a bike, but he's way, way over there. So, let's see what we can do. See if I can get a pitch. It's a bit bumpy down there, but I think we're going to have to just make the most of a bad job. Should be alright. Lots of bees floating around. Anyway, can you spot the tent? I think from a distance it's gonna look like one of the rocks. Hopefully. A bit precarious there, eh? like I have to be really careful. Luckily I'm on the light beers tonight. I would never get really drunk here. I added these, a little mod. Kylie's there, just tied them on with the the, the cleats there, adjustable. So just pull it nice and tight. There's four of them, that's Dyneema, so it's nice and light. Hang on. That's a lot better than when I set it up on that beach that time. There's loads of room in there. Loads of space. It's uh, not perfect flatly. I have my head this end, I think. And feet down there. I'll have big red feet in the morning. All the seams are sealed. That can stick out. Can't really get that out very far because if you look over there, there's a drop of terror. But uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's gone a lot better than, like I say, on the time I did it on the beach. It'll probably be a bit tighter. I'll pull that out. I'll pull that out a bit more. Can I get in? Tighten it all up, we'll be alright. Nice. Just waiting for the sun going down now. I'm gonna fill it up with my stuff, mat, sleeping bag. Just brought my jet boiler the night. This is a nice lightweight compass. That bag was great, it was great carrying that bag and there's hardly any weight in it. The bag itself weighs an out. I've normally got the 65 litre. This is the new model Kestrel. Still get plenty in, all my stuff is in the bottom of my pocket there. There's only everything I bring. Jet boiler and all sorts. Sleep mat. Gas. It's out my pocket a bit easier, wouldn't it? Jet boiler's in there. Seat summit mat. Um, stick on them. Yeah, there's, there's a nice big pocket on the front there. It's down the side. Let's see, you can access the uh, the bag from this side pocket here. Hey, hey, look what's followed. Well, I never. Oh, oh. <laughs> down jacket. Breakfast, if I can be bothered. I've got a uh, soft shell, which I hope I won't need. It's just a bit rain. Let me grab 900 bag in there. I brought my bivvy bag, just in case, since it's its first time out, in case of catastrophe, I thought if the worst comes to it, I can get in the bivvy bag. It's 
some other stuff in the top lid pocket, but I can he? Good that bag, like. Lighter than the Atmos. I think the total weight of that was about 10 kilos. That's with two litres of water. There's a, aye, there's a bottle of water there. That actually might be wine. Two cans. And there's some bits and bobs in the top pocket. I've got a, a ration pack tonight. Mark Thompson gave us the ration pack for last week, so I'm going to try it. I had a, um, quite a big lunch. I'm not really hungry. But I'll have it though. So that's it. There's the syrup. Let's get it filled. Hope nobody comes. Nobody will come here. There we go. See that's out of the way, wouldn't you? Just waiting for the sun going. They've got about another hour to go on yet. I think it's time to crack a beer, you know. It's like uh, we're half seven, half seven at night. That's what you call coming late. Uh, so I'm pitched there. A very precarious. Like I say, I'm gonna have to be really careful. But there is more space than it looks. And if I do fall over, it just stops there. I could have broken an arm at the at the worst. I think killed at the worst. But a broken arm. I'll take a broken arm. This is where I'm going to be uh, doing my sunset time lapse from here, I think. And hopefully, looking at the sky and looking at the forecast, there might be stars. Fingers crossed. How do you cross your fingers? <laughs> Solid. Look at that, it's, it is firm like. Much better than when I first pitched it. <laughs> uh, got my backpack in the corner there. Pardon me, it stops us rolling that way. I've got this seat to something, Matt. Poor X bed down, Matt. Um, it's got a leak. I'm sending it back to them, so they said they'll have a look at it. Because it's down, I can't put it in the water, can I? Check where the leak's going from. These are the extra guy lines put on. Bit of lightweight Dyneema. Not bad. Just copied the um copied the runners off the hilly. Put them on like that. So it's easy to do. Nest there, I've got plenty of room. Ah, it's good. I like this. Oh, there's a lot of racket coming from over there. Well, I just... The sunset died to death, didn't it? There was a bank of cloud there, so it just vanished into that. Not to worry, still got nice, nice view. Very impressed with this tent, like it's, it's better than I thought it was. The good thing about it as well, it's got a T-zip. So you've got the full access open, not like to Renegade Scott if you're watching this, T-zip, not your J-zip, a T-zip, you hear me? <laughs> he hates the, he hates the J-zip, I ain't told a while, and uh, there's, there's doors, look at that, got the door open there, rolled up, that'll go down, and all that is enclosed. I might just leave it open though. I don't think there's rain forecast. I don't think there is. There. So, anyway, 
that's about it. Unless anything exciting happens. Attempt a night lapse. Let's see if there's any stars pop out. Let's see how dark it gets. Don't think there's a big moon. I think the moon's been, hasn't it? So there's no moon. So it'll be nice and dark. Let's see. Hey, hey, nothing, no, another thing, not even anything, not even a dicky bird. Well, one dicky bird. Um, yeah, it's not right. Despite the fact I'm on a good slope, it seems to have snowed during the night. I always woke up this morning at five o'clock and it was snowing, which is nice. Oh, uh, oh, I'm gonna have a um, cup of coffee and then get get packed away, and then go home and then get packed, pick me the bag up, and then go to the lakes. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's the delve I was in. So, we've left no trace. I see the snow on the ground. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I've got a right runny nose. Yeah, anyway, one last look. Don't expect anything exciting to happen. So, we will catch you on the next adventure, which, to be fair, is today. I don't know when I'll get it uploaded, though. So, I've come out of the trees, there. And I think I've stepped through the wardrobe. I'm in Narnia. Oh, very peculiar this weather has been <laughs> I can't work out what it's meant to be doing the weather's thinking what, what do we do what do we do in April again do we snow does the sun shine nobody knows it could be worse it could be chucking it down like right?